Hello thinkers. Uh, what we've been doing to this point in proofs are direct proofs. That is to say that you're given the premises and you go directly from those to the conclusion. Uh, there are some other methods that we can use as proofs that are indirect proofs, which means we work off of an assumption. The two that we're going to go over in this course are the conditional proof and the reductio ad absurdum. So let's just jump into a conditional proof and uh, demonstrate how that's done. So you see that it looks very similar, it looks identical to what we have been doing, but the method that we're going to follow is slightly different, but no less rigorous. What we're going to do is we're going to make an assumption up here, uh, and we're going to then work based on that assumption, assume that that's true. What would then follow from lines 1, 2, and the letter A here, if that was our assumption, and we'll work our way down as normal. And if we can show that, say, B followed, then the very next line we could say is, is that on the assumption that A, or if A is true, then B is true. So, again, no less rigorous. We've just shown by demonstration that if we assume A is true, B would follow. So whenever we close off the box from these conditional proofs, the very next line will always be a conditional statement of some sort. That doesn't mean you have to stop there. You could work on from there to some other conclusion that you were trying to reach. However, when you make an assumption and then close it out, uh, your very next statement should be a conditional statement. Now notice that the, what we're trying to prove here in this very argument is a conditional statement, so what we could do is just assume z is true and see if we could show that x would follow. Now there's a couple things that you need to make sure and pay attention to uh, when you're working both here or if you were doing these by hand. You need to always uh, express when you are and when you are not operating under an assumption and the way that you do that is by drawing a line or a bracket to the left uh, on the Power of Logic website you could just you just hit this bar symbol it's right under the delete key or the backspace key and you hold down shift and you get that so we would start there line three and uh, what we're going to start out by doing is assuming Z another thing to keep in mind is that while you're in the box you can uh, work as if the premises were true. But once you close out the box, you can't do that anymore because everything you were doing inside the box was based on an assumption. Once we come out, we're dealing back with just what we were given and what we were able to show as a result of what we assumed. But we can't go back in and assume that, say, in this one, line four was true because we were only asserting it as true based on the assumption that Z was true. All right, I think this will make more sense as we go and as you work your way through this section, but um, I just wanted to say that, so I hope it wasn't too confusing. All right, line four. What can we say now? Well, given that Z is true, we could say either of these things by rule of modus ponens, so let's just get them both out there. I want to see if I can copy and paste them in. So I'm going to say that that follows from lines one and three by rule of modus ponens, oops, five, I would say not y, I, now by rule, or from lines two and three, modus ponens, and notice now that line, I don't want the parentheses here, now I could say in line six that X would follow from lines 4 and 5 by modus ponens. Alright, so not a lot of different rules to use in this one, but you can see how it worked. Uh, so now we're going to close off the box. I'm not going to make a bar here. Line 7, what can I say? I can say based on the assumption that Z is true, X followed. And that follows from lines 3 through 6, conditional proof. Let's check it out. Congratulations. All right, as usual, I did the easy one. They'll get much more challenging from here, but this should give you the general idea. Hope you're having a great week. We'll see you online.